Hi there, this is Richard Denning and in this video I'm going to give you a brief video about how Virtually Expo is going to work. This is aimed really at exhibitors to give you a bit of an idea about uh, how we see the show working but also um, an experience um, for visitors as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the website. So this is the uh, current uh, website a few weeks out from the convention. This is going to change just before the show to um, a view which will look like this. Um, this will have the stages at the top which is the streaming areas of the show, the main stage which will be the exhibitor live streams and interviews, the toot stage which is the seminar uh, schedule and the piazza stage which will contain most of the publisher design areas of the show. So this will be live streaming, the comment and chat going on down here. Scrolling down we have these big buttons here which are the main, way, the main ways into navigating into the hall. Here we have the browse the show floor. Let's go and have a look at that to start with. If we do that we would find ourselves here in the expo trade hall. This appearance will also change a little bit just before the show. There'll be more art added, but the general outline you can see here. The idea is that this is meant to look a little bit like a hall with a little orc wandering along through all of the stands. He can stop and go into any of the stands that he so desires, but as well as doing that, the orc can do a search up here at the top by name of exhibitor in this little search box here, and also can also filter for type of exhibitor. So this will allow you to find a stand that you might want to look at and by way of example let's have a look at this stand. Here we have a, a stand here, Medusa Games, and if I go into Medusa Games you can see here a typical stand layout. At the top we have the logo, this sort of colour on either side is taken from the logo colour itself and sort of like blurred a bit to give that effect. We have the name of the stand here. We have the category of the stand, what sort of products or games are on that stand. Underneath we have a short description and then the area for what we call the long description which can actually go on for as long as you want. It can be pages and pages of length. That long description can contain photographs, it can contain videos, it can contain links to sites elsewhere um, on the internet and instructions for how to get into demo games. On the right hand side here we have an area which will tell the visitor how they can talk or communicate with you uh, if you have set up the chat service that comes with uh, the virtual stand can activate that within your exhibitor portal they will be able to access the stand uh, the, the chat function and talk to you direct if that is active and if you've got somebody on the on the other end of that chat window you will need to set that up and man that the twitch capacity there shows how they can view your shows on twitch and of course there's a chat window in that so we consider that to be a talk function because they can communicate with you via the chat function there as well during one of your streams they can also chat to you via discord if you've set if you have a discord server and you have set that up but no below the talk windows we have areas that show demos these are ad hoc demos running for a period of time, say a full evening or day, uh, for any of your any of your games that you wish to demonstrate. So rather than listing every every game every hour, we just suggest that exhibitors put on each day a link to show that demos are available to join certain hours. If you're going to you can refine that if you wish to restrict that to certain periods of time and you could put that in there and break that down a bit more but we'd suggest that you keep it fairly light in total numbers so that it's easier to glance to see what times demos are available. Below this we have some other links, so if you put in links to say YouTube videos, to your shop or anything like that, that can be, that can be there. And below that again there is this area of events. Now events fall into three um, types 
Uh, we have the exhibitor presentations, which are where you are talking in a Twitch stream or a live Facebook page or something like that and talking about your products. The, exhibit, the visitors may be able to interact with you through chat windows, but they can't really participate in the event as such. They can watch and comment, as opposed to demos where they can actually get into a demo game in some way with you. And We elsewhere have done videos about how demo games might work. And the other type of event is a special event. That might be a prize draw event or something like a mega game where you're encouraging lots of people to, to take take place in that. Okay, So that is a typical trade stand. And um, that will allow you to talk to, pay, to, to visitors and to interact with them and to do demos for them. Let's go back to that front page. Apart from the... Uh, show floor there is also the plan your weekend the plan your weekend is the list of all of the events that are on the uk games expo so all events whether they are done by uk games expo such as board game tournaments role-playing games seminars cosplay or anything like that or exhibitor events are listed in this event schedule that can be looked at in this grid mode with these pictures which give you a brief summary including a short description and a day and a time or you can look at it in the schedule view which will look at the which will look at the event day by day and chronologically uh, like that visitors can look at an event and can having read about it can either can join the event or can add it to their schedule where they are then able to um, use that as a diary to keep track of what events that they're interested in doing throughout the whole weekend. So that is the events schedule and events will probably take place in either a Twitch environment or a live um, Facebook type environment or maybe a Discord channel, something like that, which the exhibitors or the people running the specific events will decide upon. Okay, the third window here is this join the Discord. The Discord is a means of communication. It's a way of having a community uh, where we can get together and we can talk and we can chat and feel a bit like we're part of a, the games convention. So if you click through that, assuming you have a Discord account, you will be able to access the UK Games Export Discord server, which will be broken down into lots of different channels, such as the lobby, which is a general chat area, uh, the exhibitor hall, which is um, where exhibit exhibitors and visitors can interact and have a talk about um, what's going on in the exhibitor hall. Open gaming, where you can look for other gamers and advertise the fact that you want gaming to go on. Cosplay, where you can put pictures of yourself um, in costume. Uh, and all lots of other channels, including um, channels for publisher designer and playtest activities okay so that is the discord server so these are the main ways into uh, into the site other areas of activity that are going on is open gaming which you will be able to advertise for in the discord in the discord server or you could go through to the board game arena site and tabletopia sites and and advertise the fact that you're looking for gamers to join you in a game we are not ignoring the family with the Virtually Expo. Family has always been a big part of the UK Games Expo and we have activities for them. We have the family-friendly exhibitors, which may well be running demonstrations. There are Vikings, which will be doing some demonstrations and activities. Cosplay groups will be doing activities, including a cosplay parade in the, in the cosplay area each day. There will be live entertainment shown suitable for a family family audience, which you can look up look up in the event schedule. Um, there will be a treasure hunt for children to pursue around various stands of the of the expo, find the hidden words, put those words into people into the stands so that you can um, find them, can reconstruct them, and come up with the magic um, uh, word, the secret word, the code word that gives the uh, unlocks the uh, the prize draw which may lead somebody to getting a big pile of games at the end of things so that is an, a quick overview of how virtually expo should work 
Um, there will be much more details in other videos on this page and also elsewhere on the UK Games Expo uh, Facebook and social media channels and on our Twitch stream and on our UK Games Expo YouTube channel. So I suggest that you check them out.